If you had the power to tell the future, you'd be the richest person in the world. It doesn't necessarily work in that way. I, I don't believe, I don't think that you just have access to endless information. I think you have access to the information that some divine power wants you to have that might be more connected than others because you're open to receive. Yeah, okay. she said. So Fairies are real. <laughs> Fairies are real. That's is that taking it too fairies far? Fairies are real. Believe in psychics, mediums, and fairies. Do <laughs> I'm you all believe all of in above. raising a million dollars? What's up, Meerkat? All right, I'm going to be doing a talk. I believe. Like I said, like I'm telling you, I don't know if I believe in psychics, but I believe in psychos. I've met a lot okay. of those. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Those are very real. That's true. So, <sighs> there we go. All right, Nathan, you want to put this one okay all right thank you for coming on hearts thanks ty you guys get lots of hearts oh thank you thank you you all namaste uker bad is all right how long will this talk be Uh, hour or two or three or three so how do you raise one million dollars from investors well, it doesn't have to be a million. It can be a thousand. Someone said, "Am I gonna? Are you gonna waste your time, or should you go read?" You can go read if you want. Doesn't matter to me. Sometimes people, uh, you'll learn in life. Sometimes people threaten you with things that aren't good threats. They'll be like, "I'm gonna leave." And then you're like, well, I actually don't like you here. So that's more like a reward. (laughs) You can't, uh, you can't punish people with rewards. Just so you guys know. All right. Let's talk about some principles on taking your idea. Who has a good idea? Good idea. What is your idea? You're gonna be up here a lot, Nathan, you and Pete, just so you know. So I would just stay right here. Nathan's gonna write stuff, and we'll put the title. Let's think about this number one. How do you raise money from an investor? Number one thing, and I'll try to give you seven things. Number one, put the title though, how to raise money from investors. Number one, you have to think like an investor. So he's gonna write the title and then put number one. You have to think like an investor. And a lot of people are very, what's the word? Self-focused. So what they think about is themselves and they go, ooh, I have an idea for an investment. I want a lot of stuff. Well, are you thinking like the person who has the money in their bank account? By the way, are you putting the stats up on there? I don't see any. Somebody asked, Ty, why not go live on YouTube? We already are live on YouTube. So this seems easy and seems obvious. I should probably just stop and just drop the mic and just leave because that's about all you have to know. Everything else is a subset of that. Ty, do you mean a VC? Well, a VC is just a specific type of investor. A VC is a venture capitalist. Somebody says their question is what's my return and how fast? Uh, no, not really. That's not all that investors think. It depends on the investor really does let's go through a few variations of what an investor might think like a investors get bombarded by stupid ideas a bomb investors get bombarded by stupid ideas what's the problem with that for you how does that pertain to your life well let's say I'm an investor And before you, 30 people came with stupid ideas. Now you have a great idea, but one hour before you, 30 people came in, all with stupid ideas. 
What's going to be my mental state when I talk to you? My mental state is going to be to shut you down real quickly because you're just falling into the group of people with stupid ideas. So how do you overcome that? That's one of the things we're talking about. B. To think like an investor, you have to understand investors have different types of rewards. Write that down. Different types of reward systems. Does everybody you know think of rewards in exactly the same way? For example, does everyone you know only care about money? Does everyone you know only care about girls? Does everybody you know only care about, I'm actually wearing Yeezys if you've ever seen those shoes. Somebody said, Ty, you're not live on YouTube. Is that true? No, we're not. Yeah. Oh, we're not. Yeah, we are global. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Is everybody motivated by spiritual things? Is everybody motivated by momentum? Is everybody motivated by looking good in front of a crowd? The answer is uh, lots of different ways. Somebody said, five questions for investors. What's the upside, downside, liquidity, and past performance? Well, that's, that's an oversimplification. That's a good way of thinking about it, but it's, it's oversimplified, trust me. The real truth is that different people just think differently. So you gotta learn to speak their language. Um, Mark Cuban is a fast-paced guy. So you need to have a fast-paced idea that doesn't have a ton of capital. He doesn't put in, you know, $50 million. He's not like Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett thinks the way he speaks as an investor, he likes to do $30 billion investments. He just invested into a company, I think around $38 billion. Whereas Mark Cuban does a lot of small deals, angel round type deals or VC. Um, Warren Buffett, cares more about ROI as return on investment where I know other I had a billionaire investor once or I'm not sure if he's quite a billionaire but close to it and he he cared about lifestyle so he's like oh, I'll invest in this because I can hang out with you Ty so if I would have presented to him his ROI he didn't care as long as he didn't lose money he didn't care number three think like an investor Investors like to hide on purpose. Why? Well, I don't even have business cards. Whenever I go to a business conference, you can't get a business card because I purposely never printed any business cards. Why? I want to hide from people. So if you're an investor, now somebody, all right, here's an example. Somebody said, if you're an investor, please follow me, don't hide. This is from Bail Buddy on Periscope. Bail Buddy. You ain't never gonna raise money from investors as long as you think like that because your solution was you guys like to hide, so don't hide. You think that's gonna work on somebody? <laughs> that's like if a girl, you wanna go on a date with her, and she won't call you back, so your solution is to text her, hey, you better call me back. That's not gonna work because she's not calling you back for a reason. And so just a little setup. I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to a Laker game tonight so I'll be here for a little bit, um, I'd say an hour. In the hour, I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna give you ideas on investing. I'm gonna give you ideas on how to think like an investor, give you ideas on how to take just an idea from your head, turn it into money, which is what most people wanna be able to do, or work with other people and uh, increase your income while being an employee. You can do that too. And so I'm also going to open up, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity for some of you that want to go further with this kind of information. I can only give you so much stuff in an hour or two. But if you give me three or four months, I have something that I have a money back guarantee will change your income. Okay? You can try it. you got 60 days to try it. If it doesn't work, I'll give you all your money back. Um... So yeah, you can just think about that, but I'm gonna give you some free stuff here. And I built a paid program that's a VIP version of this that's more in depth. For 90% of you, um, this will be enough.
because 90% of people don't take life seriously, especially when it comes to their income. That's why they're always broke. For the 5, 10% of you who's serious, I'll show you a way to go a lot further with this kind of stuff. I'll show you what worked for me to go from sleeping on a couch in a mobile home to, you know, being in Beverly Hills here. There was something that I did and it wasn't just one thing, it was two things, it was three things, it was four things. I could teach it to you in three or four months. I can't teach it to you in three or four minutes or even three or four hours. Somebody said, Ty, your paid program already paid for itself for me. Ty, do you really read all those books? Yes, this is all real, man, look around. A lot of people have a lot of invention, invented theories about me, but you can see, it's here, it's not a hotel. <laughs> it's not rented Lamborghinis you know it's a real life and now with Snapchat it's kind of cool because now Snapchat always tells the truth about you because you can fake your Instagram you can fake a YouTube video you can fake something but you can't fake a, a Snapchat because Snapchat shows your life every day you know so people see my life every day they see the behind the scenes they see man uh, it is possible to suddenly change your life is the real answer and um, if you're not all about improvement then you know you're all about <laughs> entropy and entropy is the opposite of improvement Ty what type of investor are you you're obviously aren't hiding well I'm hiding from people that want me to invest in them I don't hide necessarily on these calls like I'm talking to you right now so my goal for this call and your goal for being here hopefully is on you know we're on the same page and that is how do we go now not 10 years from now not a month from now and how is there this amazing improvement in whatever area of life we want you know where people look around us and go this is kind of remarkable I like that word and this stuff's free that I'm giving you, which is, you know, can't argue with that price. But I would say that at the end of the day, some of you should join and become a member and come along with the more advanced stuff that I have. It's not advanced like hard, it's just more in depth, you know? But let's go a little bit in depth as much as we can. If you understand, like I said, I should just leave this conversation because that is the one ninja tool you have to have in your possession. Let's say you're, most people who invest, you know what they do? They get really good at making pitch decks. So a pitch deck is like a presentation, a slideshow, a PowerPoint presentation, brochures, stuff like that, that you give to people who you want to invest. Okay, well that's all right. But does that come under the category of thinking like an investor? No. That just means you think like yourself and your idea. So if you had the skill, your ninja trick was the ability to be the best pitch deck person. You can make the best pitch. And my skill is a little different than yours. Let's say my skill is the ability to think like the person I'm talking to. I'm always gonna win. I'll beat you every time. Perfect example of this. Who do you think's gonna do better with women? The guy who has a package presentation so he knows which restaurant to order he goes I'm gonna we're gonna go on a date this restaurant I'm gonna wear this cologne this clothing this is what I like this is what's worked for me in the past or the guy who goes I have the ability to look at a girl and know that that girl doesn't like guys with cologne that girl doesn't like sushi restaurants so I'm not gonna take her to a sushi restaurant one is bullheaded, the first person's bullheaded, so he likes sushi, so he takes every date to sushi, but not every woman likes sushi. Imagine how much better you would be if you had the ability to always be one step ahead of people. And this is the most powerful thing. Some Addison says you should study the investor first before you pitch your idea. Exactly. Somebody said, Amir said, you didn't answer any of my comments. Are you even listening? Amir, are you using your brain? 
because I get about 500 comments at a time. Are you asking me why out of the 500 I didn't pick your special comment over everybody else's? Amir, Amir, are you a narcissist? I'm worried about you, man. Sometimes I'm worried about people on these calls. I'm going, if this dude's trying to raise investment capital and his main thing is he's gonna go up to an investor and be like, you got 500 pitches, how come you didn't read mine? I'm the most important person in the world. I'm the most important person in the world. Me, 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 everybody love me. How are you gonna use that brain? I know you're smarter than that. Come on guys, use your brain. The reason I don't answer all comments, if you look at the comments, is because number one, I'm talking about stuff I wanna talk about, not other people's comments only. Guys, I'm telling you, one of the things, and I'm gonna put this number two, Nathan. Number two here. I'm starving, by the way, too. Where's Pete? Yeah, okay. Um, number two, you have to be in full use of your IQ. Maddie, can you go tell Pete to come here? Find him. Ty, somebody said, why do you hide from investors? You wouldn't hide from Elon Musk. Well, that's true, but are you Elon Musk? Which is great. This brings up the next point. Are you in full use of your IQ? I don't care what anyone tells you. Guys, if you ain't smart, nobody, nobody, nobody is going to invest in you unless they're morons. Does that make sense? Somebody said, be so good they can't ignore you. I am telling you, at the end of the day, the reason I read a book a day is why. Because it increases my IQ. And when people talk to me, they instantly know I'm talking to a smart guy. And when they know they're talking to a smart guy, do you know what they are more likely to do? Participate, invest, partner with me. So let's talk about this one right here. Can I beat you in chess? Do I read more books than you? If the answer is yes, then guess what? Anytime you meet an investor and I meet that investor, he's going to work with me and not you. But the good news is if you turn that around, then you can compete. And life is about competition. People don't like to hear that. Why? Because their mom didn't like to tell them the hard truth about life. So their mom said, you know, life is only about love and it's only about peace. And Well, that's great. And I do love love and I do love peace. But look around in the world that you're looking in. Do you think this world doesn't have competition? Well, you don't understand the basic rudimentary elements of economics, which are what? Economics have supply and demand. And supply and demand dictates that money flows to the most efficient use. So the most efficient use of money is going to be people who can allocate capital the best. Just imagine this right here. You are pitching to Mark Cuban. And you got an idea. and you're, Whatever your idea is. A restaurant idea. The same time you didn't know this, Warren Buffett is on the phone with, or Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg is on the phone with Mark Cuban. And they have a restaurant idea. Now, before you would get bothered by that, let me just ask you, what would you do if you were Mark Cuban? Would you invest in you or would you invest in Warren Buffett or uh, Bill Gates' idea? Because I'm going with Bill Gates. So therefore, you see right there that competition exists. Somebody said, Ty, I don't, I'm not interested in competition, only in dominating my space. Well, okay, that's great. Whatever. I mean, that's unimportant. Let me just give you guys a little mental tip. Your self-esteem is irrelevant 
to the world's economy. No one cares. <laughs> Trust me. You have low self-esteem, come up with a great product. A lot of people buy it. You're going to make more money than all the cocky people in the world that tell you they're going to be billionaires. At the end of the day, results talk and bullshit walks. No one cares. So all of you who are hyper-confident, who cares? Get over it. Who cares? No one cares. Bring value to the world. Bring value in products. Bring value in pricing. Bring va va value in your ability to organize labor in, to efficiently allocate capital. And capital begins to flow to you. What it doesn't care about is your self-assessment of yourself. Trust me. Self-assessments are almost always delusional at every moment, at every time. For you that I wanted to yeah. give you on camera. This is Avo. Um, this cool. is Ty. How are you, Avo? Nice to meet you. So nice he makes friendly. custom um, cufflinks. So oh, I had sweet. him make some for you, and I Woo. thought you could Snapchat it. And yeah, let's Snapchat. Next time. Okay, but specifically, but specifically we had him do cufflinks first. Yeah. Here, you want to come over here? Yeah, come, come on, on the, camera. Come on the stream. Give me one second here. Can you hold this mic for me? Sure. All right. What kind of cufflinks are these? They're, you'll see, they're still, still handmade. But I mean, the uh, is there a brand name? Edward oh. Avedis, that's my friend. Avo brought me some custom cufflinks for my uh, tuxedo. Mm -hmm. Edward Avedis. Let's that's open these up. Let's awesome. see how they look. And we'll put your Instagram. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you. Let's come a little bit this way. Sure. Custom made cufflinks. Here, and I'm going to get a shot on this one. All right. Let's see here. Let's open it up. Let's open it up slowly. slowly. We'll do the surprise. The drum roll. All right. Let's see how these look. Bam. It's got your. Oh, they knowledge. say knowledge on them. Check that out. Logo. I like that. It's made one of a kind. Awesome. Tie. That's he sweet. Them for Brian Cranston and Ben Affleck, and so I, I just to actually I did these uh, Batman costumes for Ben Affleck. Yeah. yeah. They look like that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and Chris, um, it's the same, Edward Avedis. And who'd you make them for? Uh, Brian Cranston. So you just made these for who? Well, I made cufflinks for Ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, and now Ty Lopez. <laughs> and you said you made Ben Affleck's Batman I, I ones. Made, yes, they look. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Since he's playing Batman. Figure with your logo, they look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Let me put your. Um, what should I do? Your Insta or what's the best Instagram, way? Instagram, yeah. It's uh, Edward. Yeah, it's like that. Oops. Check my spelling. Sweet. Yeah, this is right. Man, that's awesome. awesome. I really so appreciate it. Like, um, Let's do one the, still. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Focus on them. Light. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here, let me do one more. Let's hold them up a little. Right there. Boom. Can I take a picture of them? Yeah, man. And you, or you want me to send you this send one? Me that, yeah. I'll send you that one. Yeah, I like the, the, the book in there. It came out yeah, pretty good. Book yeah, in there. yeah, it looks beautiful. Cool. I figured shiny's better. I was going to satin it, but... <laughs> no, I like that. That's, that's that way your na the name, the knowledge pops it out. Pops. Sweet. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you, man. Thank you. That's great. You can put them upstairs yeah. in your closet. Yeah, don't let me lose these. <laughs> Do not let me lose. What's the reason for this as a new snack? I don't really like that. There's a plate this is an I don't know, chicken or something like that. chicken wings or something. All right. How's everybody doing? How much does that guy pay you to advertise on your Snapchat? Nothing. Nothing. One more interruption. One more interruption. Uh, so she works with the children's hospital and oh. they're helping sponsor an event that they're throwing the elephant. Charity of the day. Niece is um, going to be cooking. 15-year-old 
for doing that. So yeah, oh, now you have to go up there for one oh, second. Really? Just to do can charity of the day, and then you can come up the charity. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Okay. I would have put on some lip gloss. <laughs> So what's the charity of the day? It is Children's Hospital Los Angeles. We're making March matter awesome. all month long. Awesome. What is the, it's for the hospital, right? Yeah, so the idea is you can shop, dine, work out, go to events, do all kinds of things to benefit Children's Hospital LA. We're gonna raise a million dollars in the month of March to provide the critical care and services that the experts at the hospital give to the children of LA every day. That's awesome. What's a good, what's a good, is there a good website they can go to? Mm-hmm. Makemarchmatter.org. Here, I'll just, we'll just say it. Go to Make March. I'm just going to do it still. Oh. Wait, then let me, let me get the right. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it, it, let me do it right. <laughs> All right, so I'll say donate at. Yes. Here, Nathan will help you finish it. Can you put that? Perfect. Thing? Thank you for coming by. Thank you. All right, we back. We all right. Boom, boom. Do I sponsor? Yeah, I try to do a new charity a day to donate. And uh, yeah. Okay. Full use of your IQ. How can you increase this? Most people think about raising investment money, and they think about from their perspective, and they think about all right. I'm gonna go up and talk to people and I'm just gonna have such a good idea. Trust me, every smart investor in the world thinks about one thing. They think about, are you the right person to run the idea? In fact, if you violate this rule, you know what might happen to you? You'll tell them your idea, they'll get somebody else that they think is smarter and take your idea from you. Now that doesn't happen as often as you think. Most people are way too worried about being stolen, ideas stolen, but occasionally it does happen and it usually happens when you don't use your IQ, you know? I highly recommend you get smarter. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> that's, that's what I highly recommend. Now the good news is, I don't care if you are horrible in school, I don't care if you don't consider yourself book smart, life is all about uh, improvement and the rise. And if you don't increase or rise up, no one else is going to do it for you. Nobody. You know the one rule of life, you can't pay a personal trainer to work out for you. You can't have, you can have a billion dollars. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, they all have to work out themselves. They can't say, here's a million bucks, you do bench press for me. Here's a million bucks, you do deadlifts for me. You have to do it. When it comes to your brain, if you're not doing it, I promise you this, you're gonna leave money on the table that should be yours. Every time. Not once, not twice, but every time. So. How do you get full use of IQ? Nathan gonna write down three things that I recommend that you do. A, first thing that I recommend you do is you start buying books. And the more the better. And I don't care, this guy said, somebody said, this guy sells dreams. Yes I do, absolutely. Life is all about the dream, man. You either live in the dream or you live in the nightmare. <laughs> you, you choose you choose right there so a you should have books everywhere everywhere where can you have books the more the better why it's simple it's simple logic the more books lying around the more likely you are to pick up a book and read one I recommend you have physical books audio books I books when you got a spare minute read 10 seconds some of you got to be on that 10 second track you haven't read a book in years, you get burnt out reading. You need to just read for 10 seconds. I just did a demonstration of reading for three and a half minutes yesterday. I had a business retreat here. People in my business builder, they pay twenty-five dollars to $50,000 to be able to come to my house um, a few times a year. They're advanced entrepreneurs making millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands depending on who they are. 
and they come, they fly out here from all around the world, people from Australia, people from Europe. And one thing that they said, um, you know, the reason they paid is to see that kind of stuff. So one of the, I read a book in three and a half minutes, got a powerful tip from it. I didn't read the whole book in three and a half minutes, but I read the most important, I literally read the most important part of that book. Alfie, you want some food? Come on, now. sit, sit. <laughs> And um, that's one. The more books you have around, <clears throat> you just pick them up sometimes. And you read for 10 seconds or you read for 20 seconds. That's more than almost anybody. All right, the second thing that maybe I'm going to put here is the way you get smarter is you learn the language of money. And this is so important. You learn the language of money. Now, Society, in many ways, is your biggest enemy because society doesn't speak the language of money. Therefore, the second you start speaking the language of money, they're going to put all kinds of pressure on you to stop. I promise you. Learn the language of money. Do you understand what, you know, crude oil prices mean? Do you understand what inflation really means? Do you understand what amortization means versus depreciation? Do you understand what it means when somebody says to you, what's your IRR? Do you understand the difference between alpha and beta? Do you truly understand what risk adjusted return is? Now, some of those are going to sound very foreign to you. They sound like you're speaking Chinese. Well, guess what? Isn't it an advantage to speak Chinese when nobody knows how to speak Chinese? If you know how to speak the language of money, you're going to have a huge advantage. And you want to have that advantage. When you go to investors and you speak the language of money, they're impressed. Okay? Number C here. I'm going to show you a video. I, I haven't published this yet on YouTube. Can we release that YouTube, my other YouTube video? So this is a video from Kobe Bryant. I, I got to go back in the locker room with Kobe Bryant on, what day was that? Sunday. Sunday I went and uh, talked to him. We talked for a while. I didn't film the whole thing, but I filmed some of it. And this is what he told me. Where are we here? Do, do, do. Oh, here he is. So here's Kobe. I don't know if you guys could see me and Kobe. And we're talking here. And uh, this is what he says. He said, you have to go and learn from people who already achieved that greatness that you want. So my question for you, number C, is how much time are you spending each day around people who already achieve the greatness that you want to achieve. Let's just do a quick survey. Interesting survey. You ready for the survey? Here we go. Here we go. Number one. Survey. Put in on a comment. How many hours did you spend yesterday? I don't care if you did it two weeks ago. Yesterday. Yesterday. How many hours, and here's the exact rule. It can't be your friend that you like, it can't be your parents, unless they follow one rule. They have the exact greatness that you want, okay? If you're on Periscope and the, and you're like, the connection's not good, just switch over to Facebook Live. You can go to Ty Lopez, uh, I mean, you can just go to Facebook and look at my official page. It's a verified page called uh, Ty Lopez Official. How many, hours were you within arm's length of the greatness you want to achieve now we got zero zero four okay ebony you said four hours who's the person gahc said three hours every day let's say some names i need to hear some name dropping people will tell you, you shouldn't name drop bullshit only 
jealous, envious people say that. You want to be able to say, I learned Gracie Jiu Jitsu from Hannah Gracie. What oh, that's not name dropping, that's smart. When I asked Kobe Bryant in that video, I said, Kobe, who'd you learn from? He started name dropping. He said Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Bio Iger, Phil Jackson. He name dropped. So your guys turn, you said my mom's uncle. Have they achieved the greatness that you want to achieve? That's what I'm asking you. So your mom's uncle, is that the pinnacle of your success exemplified? When you see them, you're like, that's, that is it. I can't get any better than that. Elon Musk. So you spent how many hours with Elon Musk yesterday? Financial and marketing mentor, William Alexander. All right, I'm not sure who that is, but do they have the exact greatness that you want and why? I'm learning business skills from people who are making $50 million. Just say their name. You ain't gotta be ashamed. Robert Kiyosaki. Did you touch Robert Kiyosaki? Tim's story. Mom's uncle is the pity of my current success. Okay, but, okay, somebody said eight hours worth Rich Piana. Mark White, an hour with Nat Mundell and my attorney, Alan Haas. Do, do you want to be a producer and an attorney? Eight hours with Owen Cook, secret entourage. Were you touching whatever secret entourage is? Three hours with Jack Ma, were you touching Jack Ma? You, you could reach out and ask him a question. You could interact with them. That's People aren't quite getting, let me make the question, let me repeat the question. How many people can you physically touch with your hand yesterday who have the exact greatness? Let me tell you the correct answer for most of you. Zero. Okay, somebody said one hour with Lionel Messi. I don't believe you. Somebody said my husband. So is that the pinnacle of success for you? Your husband's current state never could get better than that. Don't know his name, but a guy who owns three... Well, if you don't know their name, they're definitely not helping you. Reach out and touch them physically in the last 24... You know, I did an amazing test yesterday. I had all these smart entrepreneurs, and I said, I'm going to show you guys an idiot test. Give very simple answers instructions and watch how all the fools come to the surface you can try it on yourself next time you have 10 people at your house go guys everybody can everybody walk outside and turn to the left when you walk out the door mark my words half the people will turn right so I'm giving you just watch you guys are learning an awesome lesson at why most people can never raise raise investment money <coughs> You know one of, one of the signs of having a high IQ, or at least using your IQ? Simple. You can listen. So I'm just watch, everybody watch the comments here. You're gonna learn the level of IQ of most people on planet Earth. It's very horrifying. And it's not because people are dumb, it's because they choose to not use it. And society dumbs down people. One more time. Let's do the test. The crazy person fool test. In the last 24 hours, how many people who have the exact greatness you've ever, the highest pinnacle you could imagine, you touched, you were within touching physical distance of them and talking to them? Ready, set, go. Zero, zero, zero. Thank you. I appreciate all you who are obvious. You can't improve, I mean, uh, honest. You can't improve, improve if you're not honest. If you put a number, one, two, please say their name. So if you say one, please say their name. Rafael Vargas. Here's the test. If I know, don't know who they are, 
You need to go up. Jack jaw. Just look. At, if you say a number, please say the name. Jordan Belfort. But you didn't say a number, so you didn't pass the test. Who's Rick Piana? Does anybody know who Rich Piana is? Is it a bodybuilder or something? One, Alex Morton. What's an interesting thing about this is you also see when you do this test, you can try this on your friend. When you try this on your friends, um, you'll notice how low standards people have for themselves, man. You know, people will say, well, my friend's grandma or my friend's uncle. And I'm like, well, what's great about them? Well, they, they, they make 80 grand a year or, you know, they're kind of cool. Well, is that all the low level that you aspire to? Your best aspiration is that person? Better to say zero. Who else? <laughs> Somebody said, what if you touch yourself? <laughs> Very witty. You should take all that brain power that you came up with that witty comment, figure out how to make money, figure out how to improve your life. People always misdirect their wit and their power. Yeah, he's a bodybuilder, I've heard. Who else? What do we got? What do we got? Somebody said God. Well, I'm talking about people on Earth. All right. There we go. Ken Walls, Frederick Estevez, Lecrae, Cotton Grammer, Joshua Fletcher, Jeremy Lee, Ty Lopez. So Eric Chong, let me get this straight. You were physically in proximity to Cotton Grammer, Joshua Fletcher, Jeremy Lee, and Ty Lopez in the last 24 hours. Somebody says, do your Snapchat count, guys. Is everybody learning a lesson here? Because if I said physical touching distance and you said the Snapchat count, then are you fully using your IQ? Ray Sasser, real estate investor and president of Real Estate Club of Houston. All right, test is over. Most people failed. A few of you succeeded. What you gotta do is come to real place where you go somebody said Jesus did you touch Jesus in the last 24 hours physically because if you did I would like to meet you another person said Christ you didn't touch Christ physically in person right if you're a Christian don't you believe Jesus Christ is in heaven and not physically on earth <laughs> somebody said maybe a Mexican guy named Jesus <laughs> all right Third thing, last thing I'm gonna give you guys for free here. Let's go. Somebody said they met Jesus on the internet. Uh, Dulce said, Ty, you repeated yourself several times. Yes, I have to repeat myself. Do you know why? Because the odds of people listening to instructions, it's, it's, a cra it's actually not funny. It makes me feel bad for people because I go, Show me how well you do on this test, then I can guess how much money is going to be in your bank account in the next uh, 10 years. Somebody said, Ty, your advertising on YouTube was hosted in a hotel. That's actually where I am right now. Um, so, oops. I'm definitely not in a hotel right now, although some people think that. Oops, I blocked the wrong person. We need to unblock Bancal Brancher or something like that. Oops. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I blocked the wrong damn person. Let's give you one real practical thing. So now you got your idea. Assuming you've increased your IQ. Assuming all this stuff is rocking and rolling in your life. Okay? You're rocking and rolling. You're spending time close to genius people. You know how to think exactly like the investor. What's next? Well, I'm gonna tell you what's next. What's next is one simple thing. And I'm gonna break it into three parts, okay? 
So number one thing is your interruption patterns. So right, number three, your interruption patterns. So people have different interruption patterns. I'm gonna give you an example. Females watching this, you're at Starbucks, okay? A guy you've never met walks up to you and wants to get your phone number. That's interruption, right? Because you're there, you're at Starbucks having your own drink with your friends on your phone, doing your own life. Somebody comes to interrupt. Now, we all agree that some guys have horrible interruption patterns. Some guys honk their horn at women and yell out the window, hey baby. And we know this has never worked in the history of planet Earth. So why do guys do that? Well, I already told you, they ain't using their IQ. Most people are delusional and act like fools. And you never have to get mad at them. You just can guess their bank account. <laughs> No dude who honks a horn has any money in his bank account unless he inherited it. So what's your interruption patterns with investors? How do you walk up to an investor? Do you walk up to him and go, yo, I got a business idea. You should hear about this. Yo, want to see my pitch deck? Yo, 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 yo. Somebody said, excuse me, may I just bother you for a moment? Yeah, it's all horrible. So what's a better way to do it? I'm gonna tell you a better way to do it. Be a master at interrupting people in a way that they don't feel it's interruption. You meet an investor, you walk in their office. I'm gonna show you some things that I would do. A, write down this, Nathan. A is, don't ever talk about the investment. A, don't even talk about your idea and wanting investment. People are like, what do you mean, Ty? Well, just think about this. There's a girl at Starbucks. You want a date with her? Should you walk up and talk about the date? I think that's a horrible interruption pattern. The better interruption pattern is just act normal like you're already there at Starbucks anyway and she just happens to be standing next to you and you just happen to feel like saying some words and at the moment you said the word, she happened to be standing right there. simplest strategy that nobody follows trust me so what do you do then instead well B B in the 25 cognitive biases some of you are going to go into the accelerator today when I let you in the accelerator depending on which level you come in there's three levels the money level the entrepreneur level and the persuasion I talk about the cognitive biases in all three but I'm going to give you, of the 25 cognitive biases, the one that pertains very uh, and correlates very closely to your ability to get people to buy into your ideas is called liking and disliking bias. So C here on the board, or B, sorry, is understand the liking and disliking bias. What that means is if somebody likes you, you could be have the worst business idea. You could do everything wrong, they will invest in you. Isn't that crazy? Humans aren't logical. If somebody likes me and I have a worse idea than you, they'll probably invest in me because investors are not logical. I don't care if they're Peter Thiel, Warren Buffett, maybe Warren Buffett, he's a pretty logical machine. 99% of all investors you meet are not logical which means they're emotional. And if they're emotional, that means they go with their gut. And if they go with their gut, then that means that they're gonna go with their gut and not their logic when you talk to them. So imagine this, everybody else walks into the investors meeting, meet somebody at a cocktail party, Blah 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 talking yeah 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 do I oh my idea me 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 we call them me monsters me I I I got a good idea you got I I think this will make a lot of money I came up with this it's I I was hoping I could get from you a five hundred I I like this I I I if you count how many times they say I and me it's like dude you're setting some kind of record but imagine this. You just walk in, cool, 
calm, collected. You're not looking for anything. You're just living life. You're just there. And all of a sudden they start to like you. Why? Because you're at Starbucks and there's a girl in line and she's standing there. You don't want anything from her. You just make a joke. That's kind of funny about the person standing in front of you. Guess what? You know what that girl says? She laughs. The second they laugh, you have 10 times more likelihood that you're going to get their phone number. Now, nah, it's not just that. Trust me. The ability, and you know what humor, uh, on an evolutionary level, signals IQ. Because it takes intelligence to tell a joke. People that can't, you know, that freeze up, they need to exercise their IQ. This accelerated program, I'm going to let you guys in in a few minutes. I'm going to open up for 20 minutes. All right? Um, and I'm going to give you guys a badass little incentive to go in today. I'm going to show you how to get smarter around the subject of money which will include the ability to raise money. Now, the C one here, include liking, disliking. Now C is the master of the transition. Somebody said, Matthew said, by making fun of someone, I don't think so. Matthew, lighten up a little bit, bro. Are you like, you know an interesting thing right here on my phone, I was talking to Dr. David Buss. He's the preeminent scientist in the world. He wrote the textbook on evolutionary psychology. I was talking about status and respect, how to have respect. You know what he just texted me? One of the most cutting edge things. He's doing the most cutting edge research. He says, oh, he actually emailed it to me. Neurosis is associated with lower performance in life. So when I say, just a second ago, whatever person said that, and I said, you're standing in line at Starbucks, and there's a girl there, and you make fun of the person in front of you, you know you can make fun of people in a fun way that nobody's hurt and offended. You know? It doesn't have to be mean-spirited. You can joke. So whoever's doing that, you're neurotic. Neurotic people are offended and butthurt by everything. And what I'm trying to tell you is the most cutting edge research from the top scientists in the world is if you are low, uh, high neurosis, you will be perceived as very, um, as deserving low respect from most humans. If you want to raise money from investors and they perceive you as low status, you know what happens? You disappear off the radar forever. Roll with the punches. Roll with the punches, guys. Very important in life. Okay. Master the transition. So now you met an investor. You didn't start talking about getting money from them. You didn't go, me, me, and I. And well, I, I invent this, and I, and I, and I. You're just cool as ice. You're a likable person. You're not neurotic. You're not easy, easily offended. You don't, ah, oh, ah. Did you guys see my live stream last night? I had Henner Gracie here, probably the number one Brazilian jiu-jitsu person in the world. And you know what Henner was telling me? He's like, he was at a party, I mean, at a House of Blues nightclub with his wife and listening to a band. And one guy next to him started jumping up and down, like really into the music and started bumping into Henner and his wife. And he said what most people would do after a few minutes of that is they would go turn around and yell at the guy. Who are you? Why are you bumping into me? Yeah. But Henner said that will signal that you're neurotic, fearful, and low level and actually make the other guy more likely to fight you. So this is what he said. I'll demonstrate on Nathan. This is, I'll try to impersonate what Henry Gracie told me he said. He just, firm, the guy was sitting next to him, jumping up and down, and he and just Henry just grabbed him real strong and said, hey buddy, I don't know if you noticed this, but you're bumping into me and my wife, and we're trying to have a good time, and you're making us not have a good time, so I'd like you to stop that, okay? 
and low voice didn't didn't get too offensive but he told the dudes what's up and he said the guy instantly stopped instantly stopped the guy said Javier said a smarter person would just leave Javier are you neurotic do you know the full story no Henry Gracie was there because his the band was his student and that's where he needed to be in the place some of you one sign of neurosis is being a know-it-all if you think you know more than Henry Gracie about ways to deal with people when Henry Gracie started training Navy SEALs at 18 years old and police for the last 15 years you're neurotic and you're low status and you could change that and I hope everybody here doesn't think that I'm picking on low status people what I'm actually trying to do is the opposite I'm telling low status people the truth so that you can increase I'm all about the rise I'm all about the rise man and so if I call you out because I think you're low level it's because I want you to rise not because I want to make fun of you and some people can't handle bitter medicine, man. Some people like all their medicine to be little candy. But the mark of a true adult, a man and a woman who's an adult, not a baby, they don't need baby aspirin. They can have the real aspirin. They don't need their vitamins put in a candy bar. They can just take the real pill, even if it's bitter. And you gotta be like that. And that's what they call constructive criticism. But people are very, uh, touchy in the modern world it's actually becoming a big problem which you could actually get excited about because less competition for you guys Ty I feel like Donald Trump is neurotic and he's successful nah. no Donald Trump if you don't if you want to know now I'm not a Donald Trump I'm not pro or or con against Donald Trump I don't really care that much because I don't think presidents matter for my life very much and they definitely don't matter for our lives very much, trust me. What I believe is, from what I've seen, he's very cool under pressure. There's a thing where Ollie G tries to punk Donald Trump, and he, he trumped, I mean, he punked everybody. Go watch Ollie G interview of Donald Trump. Donald Trump just destroyed. He's just like, well, very good, I gotta go, and just walked off. He didn't get excited. He didn't get mad, so, I, you know, Donald Trump's like all humans. Probably got some badass good stuff to him and probably some horrible stuff. That's probably like you and me, right? If I put your life up on a projector screen, would you be proud of everything you've ever done and everything you've ever thought? No, let's be real here. Like Mark Twain said, everybody is like the moon. You have your light side and your dark side. People who deny their dark side go against all wise teachers of the last 10,000 years you know if you're a Christian Muslim they believe in sin and doing things wrong that's your dark side if you're an atheist these would be your animal appetites okay now Alfie runner. what's up bud oh watch this Alfie 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 he's gonna go now Alfie come here Sit, sit, Alfie. Sit. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alfie, here. Come here. Sit. Alfie's gonna go nuts because I gave him some beef, part of a steak. All right, Ty. Do you know J.P. Morgan? Uh, I did never meet him, but I do know who he is. Exactly. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a question. Okay. How do you master the transition and actually ask people to invest in you? Let me give you just, just a little bit of explanation. This is a long explanation. At some point, once people like you, once you've not interrupted them in a rude way, at some point, it's time for you to ask. And here's the rule of thumb. It's almost always further away from the first meeting than you think. 
So a lot of you need to start meeting people and befriending people way before you try to get money from them. Way before. I'm talking months, definitely weeks, usually months, and oftentimes years, and even potentially decades. Now some of you go, Ty, I ain't waiting for anything for a decade. Well, I got a new shirt coming out. It says, e impatience equals poverty. So if you're one of those person that goes, well, I'm impatient, well, I'm like, okay, you'll be poor. <laughs> Fine. Woo. I'm eating this steak like a, I'm eating this steak like a barbarian. Ty, was that a joke? I want that shirt. No, no, it's a real shirt. Yes, you have to be impatient. You should be impatient to start, but not impatient to finish. So you should be impatient. You should start learning today how to raise investment money. Most of the time it takes one to two years from the day you start to the day the money gets deposited in your bank account. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? People don't like that. It's true. It is true, man. Right now, if you want money in your bank account, if you start today, what's 12 months from today? 2017 March, right? March 2017, that's when the money's gonna start flowing. Now a lot of people go, no Ty, I don't believe that. Okay, don't believe it. Doesn't matter to me, it's what's gonna happen. And if you make money too fast, sometimes you lose it all fast. There's a saying on a farm, a fence that's built fast falls down fast. But a fence that's built slowly falls down slowly. Yeah, somebody said, Ty, you should have a new shirt here in my rented Lamborghini. I'm almost like, I think I should just rent everything that I have. And one thing you do, anybody who hates you, just do whatever they say. It's a great lesson in life. If somebody goes, you know, comes up to you and it's like, you know, you talk too much. Just be like, you're right, and just like talk 10 times more. That way they leave. If somebody, you know, says you're you're too shy, and that, now if they're saying it out of constructive criticism, you should listen. <clears throat> so if somebody says to you, hey man, <clears throat> I'm your friend, and I really think one of the things that will help you in life is changing this. You're a little bit too shy. Now don't, don't try to punk them. But if somebody just, a jerk and doesn't know you and just goes why are you so shy just literally don't say a word and just stand there and stare at them and then just slowly walk off it's a great way it's called reciprocal altruism <clears throat> how do you do this transition you got a mentor you have an investor you have an idea you want to connect everything pretty simple what I would do is at some point, usually farther out than I originally planned. So if my plan was to meet somebody two times and then pitch to them on the third time, I would like double it. Let me hang out with them six times. And on the sixth, seventh time, let me talk to them. This is a much better way to think. And I, I'm telling you, I hang around powerful people. Sometimes they're billionaires. Sometimes they're celebrities. And... If you fly right at them without properly transitioning, you will lose. And it's interesting, in jujitsu, they call it the transition. A lot of people know how to do an arm bar. They know how to get the mount. They know, if you saw yesterday on my Instagram, I was doing uh, basically a guillotine, and then when the person defends against the guillotine, doing a somersault out of it, then I did something called anaconda choke. But you have to know how to transition, because if you just know how to do an arm bar, and you just know how to do mount, but you don't know how to go from the mount to the arm bar, you'll never be able to use them. So if you don't know how to go from having somebody, from not talking about the investment, getting them to like you, to mastering the transition into the time where you do what's called a CTA, the call to action, then you're gonna have all the elements, but they're not connected and none of them will work for you. You must, must know 
how to connect the dots, connect the dots. A lot of you are very smart here. You're very smart here. You know about money here. You know about entrepreneurialism here. You know how to raise your IQ there. You know how to network a little bit here, but you can't connect them all into one thing. So you're one unified warrior, you know? A warrior's got the whole package, a good warrior. They don't just have armor. They don't just know how to defend. They don't just attack. They know when they should retreat. They're not just physically strong. They're also mentally strong. And every part's connected. A good warrior, if you attack too strongly for them, they know are masters of defending. When you stop attacking and they see an opening, they're masters of attacking. When they... Um, or sleeping, you know how to be awake. When they're awake, that's when you rest. This makes you very, very powerful and in business. When you're looking for the investors and they're expecting you, they just had 50 annoying people come and say, ooh, 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 I want you to invest, I want you to invest. You come in and you don't ask them. And all of a sudden, they're, th they're like, whoa, this person didn't ask me. I, I like them a little more, they didn't bug me. When they're expecting you, to want something from them. Instead, you show up and give them something. When the girl at Starbucks, you go, go and stand next to her and um, she's expecting, this dude's gonna hit on me. He's gonna hit on me. I can just tell, oh, I've been hit on by 10 guys. I don't wanna talk to anybody. And you don't even talk to her. You talk to her friend. And then once you get the friend, then she hears you talking to the friend, and then she sees that you're an interesting person, then she turns and wants to talk to you. It's powerful stuff, man. And then you know how to transition. So the investor is all surprised. They like you way more. You're a nice person. You're likable. You're not a me monster. Me, 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 I, 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 I. And then at some point, a day later, a week later, a year later, you go, I'm working on a cool project. You should check it out sometime. Then you just walk away. Boom. The investor follows you. Uh, what was it? Was it? What was it? Now you're the master of the transition game. You guys see the value in this? Say yes. Comment yes if you see some value in this. I need to know if this is helping you or I need to never talk about this again. Whew. Absolutely. Yes. True. No. Yes. Yes. See. Love you. Yup. Absolutely. So we got about 20 to 1. So every 20 people. You don't understand. All of you saying no. Why wouldn't you? Why would you listen then? I never understand people sometimes. Nothing but good value here. Yes. Yes. Good. So it seems like most of you can never please all the people. In fact, I purposely try to only please the people that I want to hang out with. I call it smoking them out. What you do is any party you're at, always realize 80% of the people there are annoying. Figure out a way that 80% of those people do not want to hang out with you. Then... 20% of people are usually interesting. Figure out how to get 20% of those people to move to your side of the nightclub. It's a beautiful life that way. You push all the smelly people far enough away you don't have to smell them. All the people who smell good are standing all around you. And that's a metaphor for people. That's also a metaphor for getting investment money. You know? Todd, you received the packages from Amazon, Nimi said. Ah, uh, I have to check. I usually have a, I need, I need to check is the answer. When did you send them? Okay, let me do a few things real quick here. For those of you who want to become a member of this movement that I have kind of built, which I call Knowledge Society. In Knowledge Society, I've got a few different ways that if you're really interested, I can help you. I'm going to explain it fast because I got to go. Make sure you watch my Snapchat tonight. 
I got some interesting things going on tonight, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to spoil the surprise. I am going to the Lakers. I already said that, but there's some other surprises. Somebody said, Ty, how do you feel about Ty Lopez scam videos? I love it. You know, the only people who ever get called a scam, people that influence a lot of people. So when I don't see any people getting mad at me, I'm like, shit, I ain't influencing anybody. <laughs> the, only, the only time you have, you know, the only time you have no haters is when nobody knows your damn name. Everybody who's known, people known more than me, Justin Bieber, the president of the United States. You know, the president gets eight death threats, I think a day or a week. I read a book by a secret service. That's definitely haters. They, they're trying to shoot at them. So, for all of you who don't have people calling you a scam or hate, um, you don't have real impact. Somebody said, I don't think DJ Khaled has haters. Oh, of course he does. It's just DJ Khaled uses Snapchat where you can't comment. And he uses Instagram some, but... Um, and also, DJ Khaled, you know what he does? He does music much more. And music is a little different. I'm not, you know, I'm not DJ Khaled. Um, he's his own guy. Seems like an awesome guy. And um, I fight society. <laughs> so, you think society going to always like people who fight the system? No. If you love the system, then you probably won't like me. Because I say stuff like, you know, the school system spends 20 grand a year per child. That's $250,000 in a in an average kid's life spent on you and I. $250,000 of tax money was spent on you. Do you feel like you got your $250,000 worth of your money? I, I feel like I didn't even get $1,000 worth. So I, I have more of a chip on my shoulder than some of these people. When you're talking, you know, an Ellen DeGeneres or somebody, she's awesome and people love her and she probably doesn't get much hate. But, you know, she has a lot of feel-good things on her show, and that's great. And I, everything I do isn't always feel good, so that's why I say I'm 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 my own man. I do my own thing, and uh, I'm definitely more polarizing. But I will tell you this: it's all about who changes lives, and the stuff. I'm not going to take credit for me personally, but. Um, I wish you could see all the mail and email that I get every day of testimonial stuff. It's insanity at this point. It's to the and, it, and it's all amazing testimonials of I was broke and now I'm this and I lost 70 pounds. I changed my marriage around. You know how many people that were going to commit suicide text me, email me, comment that they stop, you know, they did don't didn't commit commit suicide because they got hope for life. Because in my life, I was a person that was not born in Beverly Hills, not born into wealth. You know, um, I wasn't born the poorest person in the world, but I wasn't born around money. You know, my mom probably never made more than twenty, thirty grand a year when I was born, and she got remarried when I was eight and that helped a little bit financially and she had my grandma who had a little bit of money but people are lost in the world and I was lost in the world and then I found mentors and I started writing down everything my mentors taught me and putting them into systems and programs and creating a community of millions of people man millions and millions and the results are in that it changes the world and it, knowledge changes the world ideas change the world Hope changes the world. Inspiration changes the world. Improvement. You know, living an amazing life. It's not me. I don't I don't take credit for it. Because, like, I'm really just passing on what these other people taught me. So, it's not like the Thai show. I, I don't think of it that way. What I do think is that there's a right way to do things and a wrong way. And the wrong way is a life where you wake up and you're not excited. Um, I don't care how much money you have or don't have. If you're not excited about the day, if you weren't excited to wake up today, you better check yourself. It's kind of like having a headache. A headache is a signal something's wrong in your head. If you wake up and you have a life ache, you, you got to go, time to improve. And it's a beautiful world because never before 
have you been able to improve so quickly, so easily? So let me show you a quick thing. I got different programs, the 67 Steps, my free book of the day. I got this free stuff, and that's all great, but it's, I have a huge, broad audience. I can't always be specific because if I get too specific and start talking about convertible notes and clawback provisions and all this, half of the people go, Ty, I don't know what you're talking about. So if you're more advanced or more interested, it's not possible for me to always talk to you, but I built a special way, a members only, password protected website that you can access on your phone, you can listen to it in the car, and you can watch it on your laptop or your PC, you can watch it at work if you have downtime, you can like uh, watch it in the morning, you can listen to it while you're jogging, and it's just a series of how to home study course uh, videos and audio. So I call it the accelerator, home study course and it's specifically about your financial situation and so how to achieve financial success health whatever you do because I get rid of this pen it's old um, you know each of you if you're not achieving financial stability health you're sacrificing life quality non-stop for me it's all about life quality even more important than Lamborghinis, Ferraris, money, pretty women, all those things people see that I have around me, I care mostly about give, living a good life. I'd sacrifice all those things if they didn't bring me a good life. For you to have a good life, one of the components, don't listen to any human who tells you otherwise. Anybody. They're a fool if they argue with this. It's been proven over and over scientifically, and it's also common sense. You must achieve financial stability, period. You must thrive financially. I don't care how much you meditate. I don't care how much you do yoga. I don't care how much you work out in the gym and how great of shape that you're in. Life is not only about one thing. It's about social life. It's about physical health. It's about romance and love and friendship, but it's also about money. Because in the modern world, money is an exchange unit in a collective bargaining agreement that we call the economy where if you're good at something somebody will give you food and if you're not good at anything nobody's gonna give you food and you're gonna spend your whole day and your whole month and your whole life going I don't have enough money how am I gonna pay the bills next week next month next year if you want to guarantee yourself a hell on earth be worried about money for the rest of your life the average person that's 60, 70 years old, um, they don't have enough money saved. They're going to be working at Walmart at 85 years old. The average 20, 21 year old is burdened with massive amounts of debt from college credit cards. They're experiencing lower levels of life. They're forced to take a job that they wouldn't normally take, but they got to pay their debts back. So they get trapped. So whether you're young, watch this, middle age, old, if you're not careful, you will be in the trap. And that trap is nasty. And I'll tell you what Warren Buffett, the second richest man in the world says. He says that if you get behind and you let it linger for too long, you'll never be able to get out of it. If you let your body go so badly and you get so overweight, and so out of shape, it's almost, you might be able to lose a little weight, you might be able to have gastric bypass surgery, but you'll never return to your original state of health that you had before you got fat. For those of you that have let yourself financially go into the dump, or you're doing well, but not as well as you know you could be doing. You're making 100 grand, but you know you should be making 200 grand. Or your business is grossing a million, but it's capped out and you can't get it to two million or five million or ten million. Or you're completely broken, or you're like me, you got $47 in your bank account. That's what I had when I really decided to turn around my life. How did I turn around my life? It's the same principles I'm about to give you password protected access, but I'm not giving it to everybody. Here's the deal what I'm gonna do. Because I always prefer quality over quantity. In a second, I'm gonna put a little timer up. It's gonna be for 20 minutes, and whatever's reached first, 20 minutes or 30 people. Now, every time I do this, it fills up, just so you know. 
So it's not like I say 30 people and only three people do it. Um, I used to say 15 people, but on average, it would take roughly, took two minutes to fill up the spots for the password protected site. In addition to the password protected site, which is gonna give you all the curriculum and the cool stuff and the insider secrets that nobody taught me or you growing up, I'm also going to give you uh, four big bonuses. And that's only available for the first 30 people and the first or the first 20 minutes. Whatever is reached first, okay? Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jet out because I still, what do I have left to do? No, 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 but what I've left after the talk. Oh, the sprint coach is here? Whew. Whew. I'm going to be working out before. What time are they coming? Uh, 5.30. I thought my said they're picking them up at 6. Oh, no. Um, yeah, 6. So we'll leave here at 6.30 or something. Okay. Now. Um, so uh, let me explain what you get real quick. Um, yeah. So number one, new page. There's three levels to this. Three levels to this. Number one, the money level. Number two, the entrepreneur level. I'll write the number one circle. Um, number two is entrepreneur level. Number three is persuasion level. Now, since I don't know what level you're on, everybody starts in the money level. In a few minutes, when I get to this, I'm gonna shut off Facebook Live, if you're on Facebook, and I'm gonna restart it with a special link in it for you to get password protected access and become a member of this um, amazing community. You'll see, I'm gonna give you a chance to join here. Now, so we got a few more minutes, then I'll reset Facebook. We're talking, put an arrow to this, money level is what you're gonna get access to today. If you want to get access to the other levels, entrepreneur persuasion, once you get into money, you'll talk to my team on the phone. We have an onboarding team that's there to help you, help you explain what you got in the accelerator, how to use the different video lessons, how to listen to the audio lessons, how it can help you, how to come on the live private calls, how to get access, how to come to the in-person events if you want to. Nothing is mandatory. You just pick and choose what you want to do, okay? So, next page, here's what you're gonna get. We're gonna put a link up. You're gonna press the link if you wanna get in. Now remember, out of, we probably have roughly, um, I think this afternoon, about 50,000 people will have watched this because people come and go. And we started at 12 before I even got on. Out of 50,000 people, I'm gonna let in 30. So it's not even 1%, it's not even one-tenth of 1%. And I do that on purpose. If I cared about the money, I would let a lot more people in. Um, so if you're on Periscope, you know, just remember we're on Facebook and YouTube. Most people are on YouTube or Facebook. We have a lot more. Now, the first thing you're gonna get, if you fill out your application, you pay your application fee, if we accept you into it as one of the 30 people, okay, first thing you're gonna get is access, number one. I'm gonna give you access. What am I giving you access to? Well, the biggest thing that I needed in my life when I was broke was access. Remember I said, how many people are you listening to, close to, who have achieved the success that you want? Well, simple. I didn't have that at all. So what happened was my life sucked. Once I got access to amazing people, my life started to become amazing. So twice a month, I do a special live call that only people with the password can get into. Only people in the Accelerator Home Study. And sometimes I teach it, and sometimes people, um, I bring in top people. Sometimes I have other, you know, millionaires, multi-millionaires. I just had someone teaching who was making, at 17 years old, was making $2 million a year, okay? high level people and it's a small group it's not a big group like this it's not 10,000 people watching so you have access to asking them questions I don't care what country you live in you could be in 72 uh, we usually have about 72 countries tuning in you could be living in Timbuktu you can still now get access it's not quite as good as being able to touch people in person but I'm gonna show you how you even get that in the accelerator 
Number two thing you get is what I call the mini talks. This is the core part of what you're about to get. The mini talks are just a series of audio or video. You can choose whatever's better for you. And I did a TEDx talk. It's one of the top 15, I think, TEDx talks in history. And it's only 18 minute talk. So this 18 minute, I, I like that. So these mini talks, I know you're busy. I know you, every day you can't listen to a two hour talk. But you might be able to listen to a 10 minute talk on the way to work or while you're jogging or while you're picking up the kids. And so these is a, a library of subjects, anything you want to learn on, how to get investors, how to read people, how to be better with public speaking, how to invest your money better, how to invest better in the stock market, how to buy and sell and flip real estate. I brought in some of the best people. I brought in the guy, Gary Keller, owns the largest residential real estate company in the world. Got him to do an interview. That's all in the mini talk library of lessons for you. Man, if I would pay any amount of money to have those, I didn't have them when I was starting out. I had to learn them the hard way. It took me a decade to get this stuff. You're gonna be able to get that same stuff that took me a decade and took me millions of dollars of spending and losing and earning back again trial and error you're gonna get it instantly downloaded into your brain by getting in this accelerator program the third thing you're gonna get is what I call um, the behind the scenes not only is it important to listen to people but it's important to watch them I go to the Lakers games because I watch those dudes I get there early I watch them practicing I watch how they stretch I watch how they talk I, I sat next to Kobe Bryant on the the bench the other day and I was listening how does he talk to his co you know his players on his team is he nice to him always is he is he you know is he stern and I was like man I'm learning from the best in basketball and I'm gonna give you behind the scenes where I film me building businesses you can watch me build this fashion business a t-shirt business you can watch me investing in things you can just watch it's very very important the fourth thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get access to uh, there we go, a private Facebook group because you need to learn to network, and I'm going to instantly allow you to network with high level people. Only people in this private Facebook, it's amazing the access. People are like, What website software should I use? What email software? You post it in the community, and all these people in the accelerator I've let in 3,000 people, 3,000 smart people around the world there to help you and answer your questions, things that I don't know. You want to know what lawyer should you form an LLC an S corp? Or, you know, should you talk to this investor? Maybe someone in the community that already talked to them is like, "Don't talk to that guy; he's mean," or something. Or yes, definitely talk to them. The fifth thing that you're going to get access to is what I call money motivation. I post a video specifically once a week with specific instructions. It's not enough to just know; you must be motivated. This is what I wish people would have taught me, so that I would never have procrastinated. Procrastination is the killer of your hopes and dreams. And so this is specifically around finance stuff. And then the last thing you're gonna get is preferred access. Because now, instead of just twice a month giving you access, I'm doing it about twice a week. This didn't exist at the beginning. Now, I'm gonna reset Facebook. Josh is gonna come up here, reset Facebook. And when I do, I'm purposely resetting this because I'm going to lose people, I want to lose people, because I only want the best left, the most hungry, the most excited, the people that have the least neurosis, the people that are ready to rock and roll. And if that's you, what you do is you'll see in the Facebook, I'm going to put a link. If you're on Periscope, Meerkat, or my website, don't worry, I'll give you another way. But in a second, I'm going to tell you the four most important bonuses that are only available if you get in in the next 20 minutes or 30 people. Because you can get in tomorrow, but not with the bonuses. And when you hear the super bonuses, you're going to definitely be like, I ain't waiting. Now, you can wait as long as you want. I don't care. But you'll see why you don't want to. Let's reset the Facebook thing. I'm going to take a bite of my steak. I'll be back in 30 seconds.